Keegan Michael Key and oh, Jordan wow. Peele <laughs> and how how they they are dating white women. Oh shoot, that is true. And people don't be liking that. Yeah. And well, like, well, are they both mixed? And they're both mixed. Mm. So is there a little bit of difference when you're mulatto actually? So compared so, to when so, you're an so, actual so full you're, black you're, man. So you're point five with a one. So here's one. He's one point five white. I mean that's math. Yeah. I think. Let me pull up my calculator. Yeah. But I'm thinking, is it because they're half, you know, or they're not a full on? I mean, people can still be upset I mean, because they're we, successful. Do, and we, they're, do we do we still live by the one drop rule? Because I'm pretty sure the black community would claim all of their successes. What up, YouTube? My name is Malcolm Eugene. I don't have a... Will Robinson, I don't have a good English accent. Intro! <laughs> yeah. Interracial dating. Um, basically, we're bringing this up because... Um, on the own network, they have a show called Black Love. I don't Black know if put a, Love. Put a banner in or something. I don't know because of Mark. Anyway, um, so basically, uh, they were celebrating uh, a few days ago um, a woman and a man getting married. Well, the individual was a white man and the other was a black woman getting married. So it came 50% under... 50% Black Love. <laughs> so it, it brought up an interesting thing, which in the comment sections, people said the same thing. It's a, play, a page dedicated to black love, but you're celebrating this in a, basically in a racial love when it's a black love page. So people were responding to it originally, I guess, saying that, oh, well, you know, it was tough when back in the day people fought. To sac and I'm not saying we're not saying, you know, that's not that people didn't have to sacrifice to make that happen, that, that, you know, you should love who you want to love. We get it regardless of race, gender, whatever quality. We get it. But when you're. Page is dedicated to uplifting black people and unification a of black people. Niche. Yes, that's what you're set in. Then how do you then defend that? If someone were to say, okay, if you're going to celebrate that, then why aren't you having you show anything with a black man and a white woman? Then why aren't you giving the same energy for that? That's the only thing. If we're going to do that, then we need to change it from black love and change the name of the page on top of you need to go ahead and have the same energy for a black man and a white woman and not be so, you know, subjective to, to being, you know, with that. You know, there's so much opposition, I feel, when it's a black man and a white woman, and it, but it's more accepting when it's a white man uh, when, 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 when it's a black man and anyone other than a black woman, That's, not just a white woman. I, I, I'm, I'm agree with you there, but at the same time, it seems like people are more upset when it's a, a Becky or something. I feel like they get more upset by that. And I've asked women before, I'm like, why is it more upsetting when it's a white woman compared to any other race and they just feel like they've got this, you selling out exactly there's the stigma of that that you're, you're, you're selling you're, out that you're selling out or this that one group of people are more submissive than another when that's not true at all so it, like i said it just to me when i brought, brought it up to you it just was weird and the funny thing is uh i have ig i don't have facebook or anything but their ig where they were promoting the said you know couple interracially it's gone the post is completely gone they pulled it off the page. So now, for me, that calls it calls your integrity into question, because now you you, you if you're gonna defend what you did, that's cool, but then don't take it down to retract it and pull it all down. It just now it makes you look even more like real sus. So that's just my opinion. What are you, what are your thoughts on it? How do you feel about it? Should um, should we have a, a page that because we it's not just that we've got black love, we've got black apps, we have black this, we've got black crea content creators on all types of. All types of black this and that. We've got Amazon. We've got all these places. YouTube supporting black creator, just supporting black people. Not saying they're not supporting other races, but it seems like the black so, gets highlighted a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna break this response into a couple of talking points. Talking points. So mm -hmm. it's okay to have pride in oneself. Oh yeah, absolutely. But you got to keep a mind of if you're okay with yourself your culture having its own pride, you also have to also come to the realization that other cultures are going to have their own version and their own, you know, pride within themselves, within their culture. And that's perfectly fine. Absolutely. Um, a lot of people, when it comes to like, and I know we talked about this in the previous video, CRT, mm -hmm. is very, very anti-establishment. Mm -hmm. A lot of these platforms and things that came up 
were built up because there were no platforms for oh, yeah. people of our complexion. Makes sense. When it comes to like companies and supporting of black people, I get that. But kind of like Black History Month, I don't celebrate that during Black History Month. Like if you're going to support black people, make it a yearly round thing, it doesn't even have to be front page. It doesn't. Because that so gets, gets real virtue signaling. It, it gets very, very virtue signaling because a lot of people don't really understand what we want. Mm-hmm. And hell, I don't even think we understand what we want anymore. The generation has changed, the demands have changed, and and I can't, I'm not going to speak for black people. I'm going to speak for myself. And, that, and, that's, and that's all you can to do. Be, to me. be included in the conversation. But people are pushing and putting people in the spotlight, giving them the mic mm-hmm. to contribute to the conversation. And they can't contribute to the conversation because all people are saying is the same thing over and over again that people have said for decades. The same things. Like, okay, how are you going to contribute to the whole conversation without saying... First off, yeah, I'm like to thank the Black Caucus for 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 instilling the values in me, yeah. and no, nah, like we got to be able to contribute to society in that regard. Yeah, I believe we have to constantly but, evolve. And, evolve. But the same the same is said for the LGBT community. Like Pride Month is June, and mm-hmm. that's great. However, we need to be showing love to everybody all the time. Mm-hmm. So. But when I see people who are coming out in June just because it's Pride Month, I'm like, you know, it, this seems a bit of more of a marketing tactic, kind of like Valentine's Day. Seems con- my, see, it could come off as very convenient. Yeah, so I'm just saying, don't limit yourself to a month, to a week, to a day, you know, do whatever you want to do when, whenever when it comes to that kind of thing. Oh, be, be sincere, genuine now, about it. as far as interracial dating, I love it. I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I love learning of different cultures and different aspects of different cultures. Or, you know, as long as the open-mindedness is there and the willingness to learn, I love, you know, just learning from other people, how they live, why they think, their morals, their values, because ultimately that's the best way to come together. Other than that, people are going to handle you regardless because they don't have you. They want you. They don't have you. You belong to a certain group and what I'm trying to say is don't put me a black man in a box saying that I belong to you a black woman just because that I'm black because if you're doing that just because that I'm black then how is that not an issue of race it's a sense of entitlement they 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 feel that they don't have to compete too you got to think about that too a lot of black women feel like they don't need to we're the same color why do I need to compete against Anyone else? I see, I see, I see black chicks with white dudes. I don't care. I'm happy for you. Good yeah, for you. you. I exactly. mean, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, "Yo, you need to be with me." Mm, yeah. Nah. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. But, <laughs> but no, uh, I don't. I don't like. We don't. We don't trip on that. Like we. We don't care. I mean, be, be with whomever makes you happy. At the end of the day, like he said, people. If people aren't gonna like you regardless. You might as well do what makes you happy. Why walk on eggshells? Why act any differently or act accordingly because of what other people's expectations of you are, are supposed to be? So we're supposed. So in that case, we're we're gonna just base everything off of stereotypes. That's just that would be that's yeah. ignorant. We we don't we don't need to do that, folks. I mean, it, the main thing is marry and be with whomever you want to be with, love who you want to be with, and you know if you got somebody, then be happy that you got somebody because a lot yeah. of people out here don't have nobody. Right. Black love. <laughs> I, I, it. Uh, gonna, like, 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 I don't know man it's like <laughs> we definitely push that we push ourselves in front of the spotlight a lot mm-hmm. yeah there's black love but no one out there that I've heard or seen from any other culture has pushed their civil union but do you, are you, do you see why we probably do that because we have one of the lowest Marital rates. One out of four black women are married. Yeah. So, it, but, I get why they want to celebrate it. But even in black, even in African culture, though, like, yeah. Nigerians don't even do that shit. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I get it that you want to celebrate that because black families, which should be families, period. It's just an American thing. It is. It, it, it really is. That, you know, they want to push this black family agenda. That's really what it is. They want black families. They want unification. So, this, this way, they, they push that saying, you know, we're empowering each other. We're celebrating each other. Because you got to think, it's not just, and this is beyond black love when we really look at this 
people aren't getting married, period, all across the board. Yeah, because it's expensive. And it's, a, it's, it's an expensive trial. Mm-hmm. On top of that, it, 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 the, a lot of men don't see any benefit anymore. And especially our age group, millennials on down, or pretty much don't see the point to it. We've seen Generation X. A lot of them aren't getting married or they're getting divorced. Yeah. And they're talking, it's like, what's really the point? What do you really get out of it? I mean, yeah, you may get kids out of it, but yeah. now you got to pay for those kids. We understand that you want to kind of section off and have black love, but it should encompass, I think it should encompass everybody. I don't think any, we're, we're any better than anybody, especially everything that other people have sacrificed and got us to this point. Do you think that Martin Luther King or Harry Tubman, Malcolm X would be proud of everything that they that they sacrificed at this point? Do you think if they were honestly here today, how do you think they would feel about everything that's happened? Black love this. I'm about, to, I'm about to piss off everybody. Here we go. It's time. Hashtag all love matters. <laughs> <laughs> and on that day, zero. <laughs> Get these guys off. Oh, dear Ta- God. Banish them to the shadow realm. Gone. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you got to look at it like this. There is so much hate in the world oh, yeah. that now we're being so picky when it comes to who we love. I feel like we need to slow the fuck down and just love and appreciate each other. Love whoever the fuck you want because I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he doesn't give a shit. Be, be who you are. That's all I say. And if you don't give a shit, make sure you like this video. <laughs> like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We appreciate it, guys. Keegan Michael Key and oh, Jordan wow. Peele, <laughs> and how how they they are dating white women. Oh shoot, that is true. And people don't be liking that. Yeah. Well, like, well, are they both mixed? And they're both mixed. Mm. So is there a little bit of difference when you're a mulatto, actually? So compared so, to when you're so, an actual so, so you're, full you're, black you're, man. You're point five with a one. So here's one. He's one point five white. I mean, that's math. Yeah. I think. Let me pull up my calculator. Yeah. But I'm thinking, is it because they're half, you know, or they're not a full on? I mean, people can still be upset I mean, because they're we, successful. Do, and we, they're, do, we, do we still live by the one drop rule? Because I'm pretty sure the black community would claim all of their successes. It's, and it comes down to what they, who they associate with, which they consider themselves both African-American males. So I don't know. I identify as Batman, except... I'd go down on my head. <laughs> 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 oh, my name is Malcolm Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> We're Robert Oh, we are outro. <laughs>